A mostly cloudy good morning to you. I hope your day is going well for you, wherever you might be. Not all that bad out there. Not all that bad overnight last night. Temperatures, for the most part, pretty close to where they should be this time of the year. And now they're beginning to warm up a little bit. Currently 33 degrees at the airport. It is 35 here at Radio Center. 33 degrees in downtown Midland, 34 in downtown Bay City. We do have just a little bit of a breeze. Quite frankly, the lower wind speeds have really helped us as far as these temperatures are concerned and the days as we've been going through. Very fortunate for us to have the systems that are affecting our weather moving through on normal progression. Not a lot of wind changes in wind direction. Uh, If it does come out of the north or the northwest, uh, the wind speeds have picked up a little bit. But for the most part, it has been uh, okay as far as uh, how it feels and what we've been able to do outside. But yes, the temperatures, they are at or below freezing, especially that wind chill right now. We're looking at a wind chill of 26, 30.02, and falling is the barometric pressure. We do have a low pressure system that's uh, up in Canada. It's north of the border uh, right now, uh, the Dakotas and Minnesota. That low is going to move rather rapidly across the northern sections of Lake Superior, still up on the uh, landmass in Canada, and then off to the east. And as it moves through, a warm front, first of all, which uh, is ahead of that low, is going to be pushing through. So our high temperature this afternoon before sunset is going to be right around 38 degrees. And then after sunset up until about midnight, we'll reach our high temperature for the day right at midnight. We should be close to 45 degrees. That's going to be, in effect, our overnight low. And during the day tomorrow, we're going to be looking at a high temperature pretty close to uh, 50 degrees. But then the second part of that system, the first part, the warm front going through, second part, the cold front going through, late Thursday night and early Friday morning, that front is going to drop through the state, the cold front. And we'll know it because the winds will change in direction. As I said before, we're right now at the south. They'll pick up a little bit in intensity, too, as the direction changes. It'll be more westerly and then eventually northwesterly um, late tomorrow night into the day on Friday. We'll have uh, northwest wind tomorrow night uh, gusting up to about 25, 30 miles per hour out of the northwest. So it is going to feel a lot colder tomorrow night, 30 on the thermometer, but uh, we'll have feels like temperatures in the upper teens as we move into Friday. Friday, mostly cloudy, a scattered mix of some precipitation. Again, a lot of that because of the uh, the winds. Wind will be out of the west about 10 to 12 miles per hour on Friday after that front does finally get out of here, but uh, it's going to leave a, a cloudy and damp mess behind it. High pressure over uh, uh, north of uh, Lake Superior, Uh, that is going to generate the colder temperatures. Our high on Friday will be 38. Our low Friday night will be 29. And then moving into the weekend, we'll have some sun to start off on Saturday clouds as we go through the afternoon. Then there'll be some clearing on Saturday night. And during the day on Sunday, we're looking at clouds building back up. And a system will affect our weather later in the day on Sunday and Sunday night. And as a result, uh, we will see some snow and possibly changing over into some rain and then snow as we uh, finish the day off on Sunday. So temperature-wise, we're going to be running a little bit above average over the next few days. As I said, our uh, high temperature tonight will be 45. Average for this time of the year is 39. Tomorrow will be at 50. Overnight lows should be right around 27 degrees, so we're running a little bit above there. Even on Friday with a high of 38 and a low of 29, we're still going to be above average. And then on uh, Saturday, 38 for a high, 28 for a low. Sunday will be 42 for a high. 26 for a low, and then we'll cool back down. Work week next week, mid-30s on Monday, 32 for a high on Tuesday, 
another system is going to be moving through. But all the way through this period, we're not looking at any heavy dumpers as of right now when it comes to snow or a little bit heavier rain. It uh, looks like these systems continue to move through progressively with not a lot of moisture associated with them, just upper air type disturbances, uh, light clipper type systems. That's about all we're getting. And that's what we're going to be looking forward to for the next several days. Record high in the state is 64. That was set back in 1970. The record low two set in 1966. And a year ago, our high was 39. Our low was 24. Incidentally, the, uh, uh, November precipitation averages uh, right around 3.3 inches of snow. We finished uh, out at MBS International Airport snow a little bit better than two and a half inches, so not quite up to average. But you look down in Flint, they had over six inches in the month of November. And over in Michigan's Thumb, we had a number of locations looking at at least seven, if not eight inches of snow altogether for the month. Now, December... Normal precipitation is right around oh, 1.8, 1.9 inches liquid. Snow on average for December is just under a foot, about 11.8 inches. So it's been a while since we've been average when it comes to snowfall in the month of December. So we'll see uh, how close we come this December. All the projections are indicating that we should be at at least average for snowfall in December this year, if not a little bit above. And the chances of snow, we're not really looking at any uh, big heat ups, any warm spells of three, four and five days this year in the month of December. So maybe there's a chance we'll get some snow and it'll stick around for a while. More on the weather as we go through the broadcast. When we return, Cody Harris standing by. We'll be talking to him at Star of the West. Find out what the markets are doing. But before we do all that, I want to remind you, the weather forecast brought to you by the folks at Nutrien Egg Solutions. Nutrien Egg Solutions has the local expertise to recommend the corn, soybean, and other seed products that are the best fit for your field. Plus, unparalleled agronomic support with products and services to unlock yield potential and improve crop performance from planting to harvest. Ask about our financing options to help you get more from every acre and lead the field. Visit your local Nutrien Ag Solutions branch or go to NutrienAgSolutions.com. They say there's a secret to growing a great crop. At Nutrien Ag Solutions, they beg to differ. It all starts with a strong foundation, and when it comes to fertilizer, there's no question that Titan XE drives dry fertilizer performance. They've been unlocking the potential in every prill of dry fertilizer with BioCatalyst technology for over a decade. Visit lpi.ag slash Titan or contact your Nutrient Ag Solutions crop consultant to drive your crop's potential today. Farm Service brought to you today by the folks at the Michael Sarr Crop Insurance Agency. You know, they want you to be prepared, Mr. Farmer. The good things, take advantage of them. The bad things, protect yourself against them. The Michael Sarr Crop Insurance Agency can take care of it. Being prepared to successfully respond is their key as far as ingredients go. So go ahead and do that today. Michael Sarr Crop Insurance Agency is licensed to serve all of Michigan with both conventional and organic crop insurance. And their agents can be reached directly by calling their cell phone for questions or emergencies. Or you can call the office right in downtown Reese, 989-868-4722. Along with me, Cody Harris over at Star of the West in Frankenmuth. Cody, good morning. How are you? Good morning, Jay. We're doing well here today. How are you? Hey, we are. We're doing great. What's going on as far as the markets go, Cody? Well, we got a little different change of pace of what we've kind of been watching, I would say, the last few days, Terry. We actually got all the markets in green here this morning. Uh, just kind of start off the middle of the week here, or start off December anyways. Uh, looking at everything right now, the way it sits. Oh, we got cash week. That's up to 744 on the white, 709 on the red. Looking over at new crop wheat for next year, that is unchanged. 782 on the white, 722 on the red. Looking over at corn, cash corn is up five at 518. New crop corn is up two at 494. Then looking over at soybeans, they're the big mover today. Cash soybeans are up 10 at 1162. 
And new crop soybeans from next year are up six at eleven fifty. Looks like everybody's taking advantage of this, Cody. Yeah, definitely. It seems like, you know, kind of the last few days definitely been influenced by some outside markets and it seemed like everybody's kind of whole markets kind of flipped around for the good as far as, you know, crude oil, equity markets, and even the grains are definitely benefiting from that as well. Yep. All in all, keep it going, okay? That's a game plan, Terry. I know you got everything to do with it, right? <laughs> I wish I had that kind of power, but unfortunately I do not. But I'm going to keep riding this roller coaster as we keep going forward. That roller coaster is right. Cody, you have a great day. Thank you. You as well. Thank you, Terry. You bet. Cody Harris over at Star of the West. A little bit more in depth uh, as far as what the markets are doing. We'll touch base with Doug Klein in a moment. The market report brought to you by the folks at Schaefer and Beerline. If you're looking for a new Ram commercial truck or van, get it from a dealer that's been around since 1852. Schaefer and Beerline and Frankenmuth knows trucks and vans, so buy with confidence from a dealer where family and service sells cars. They are the Great Lakes Bay Area's certified ag dealer. That is Schaefer and beer line and also brought to you today by the folks at hillishog hillishog has some new varieties that are both number one and number two in recoverable sugar per ton and rhizoctonia resistance which were two very large hurdles with the 2021 crop michigan sugars uh, research is proving why you need to plant hillishog hillishog the heartbeat of sweet making michigan growers generations strong just in case uh, you were wondering, uh, yeah, the uh, Michigan Farm Bureau is holding their uh, annual meeting this week. Started yesterday and uh, going through midweek. We'll have uh, some of the results of uh, the events uh, going on. We did have a chance uh, to uh, uh, take a look at some of the things that happened yesterday. One of them was the uh, discussion meet. And uh, we do have a winner from our area, we'll, uh, from the Midland area. We'll touch base on that in just a second. And we say good morning to Doug Klein. Doug, good morning. What's going on in uh, Chicago right now? Let's take a look at what's going on in Chicago right now. We had Yellen and Powell talking today. They, they're they bringing the stock market back up because that's their job. They drove it down yesterday. They're bringing it back today. And then uh, we had the WHO talking today about the variants and how they're going to fix everything there. So that's their job. I don't know. So we're getting some sort of a, a bounce here. Uh, crude oil numbers came in today, and they said that we have our production level is the highest in 18 months, and the strategic reserve is the lowest in 18 years. So I don't know how to read that one, but uh, it kind of sort of feels like a dead cat bounce. So anyway, here's your numbers. The uh, December corn is 572 and three quarters, up five and three quarters. The March corn is 572 and a half, up a nickel. Uh, the January soybeans, 1227 and a quarter, up 10 cents. The March soybeans, 1234 and a half, up 8 cents. Uh, December wheat, 774 and three quarters, that's up a penny. And the March wheat is 788 and a quarter, up a penny and a quarter. So crude oil is 68.20. It's up two dollars and two cents. That's uh, not quite as much as it lost yesterday. So that's why I say it might be a dead cat bounce until it until it actually crosses over. You know what it lost? It's it's kind of kind of sort of recovery. Uh, heating oil 213.83. That's up eight cents. Gasoline is 206. That's up eight cents. And natural gas kind of getting pounded again today. Four dollars and thirty cents. That's down twenty-five and three quarter cents. Canadian dollar, U.S. dollar gets you dollar twenty-seven seventy-four at the border. That's down two ticks. The yen is at one twelve ninety-one, down twenty-two ticks. The euro is at one thirteen twenty-one, down uh, two ticks. The dollar is at ninety-five ninety-two. That's down seven ticks. Gold's at 17.8520, up $11. Silver's at 22.50, down 26 and a half cents. And platinum's at 9.4350, that's up $16.20. Nice little move there. Doug, oh, you yeah. take care. Have a great day, okay? Yeah, yeah you do. Will do. Doug Klein 
over at Oppenheimer. Farm Service brought to you today by the folks at Steiner Tractor. Steiner Tractor Parts is new parts for old tractors, and they're easy to get in contact with. 800-234-3280 or go to their website at steinertractor.com. Whether it's Alice Chalmers, Case, Cockshut Ford, International, John Deere, Massey, Minneapolis, Moline, Oliver, they do keep their warehouse stocked with new parts for old tractors, so give them a call today. Incidentally, the uh, the person we were uh, telling you about uh, that uh, won the uh, uh, Michigan Farm Bureau discussion meet, that's uh, Sarah Zastro. She took the top spot at the Michigan Farm Bureau's 2021 Young Farmer discussion meet. That was yesterday at the 102nd annual meeting over in the Grand Rapids area. We'll be right back with more in just a moment, but first this. Whether your family farm has been passed down through generations or you're just getting started, knowledge and partnership fuel constant growth along the way. As the legacy of your farm strengthens, shared values and a never-ending commitment remain. ECH Seeds is proud to work with you to sustain your continued growth. This partnership driven by a shared passion that never stops growing is refined over time and cultivated in common ground. This is Peter Maxwell, your ACH Seeds representative. Our 2022 lineup is better than ever. Crystal Beet Seed varieties offer a full spectrum of defensive traits combined with top performing yield and sugar potential. And speaking of defense, ask me about the new CR Plus trait offered in select crystal varieties. Not only does this offer the potential for less spraying, but it also protects yield while doing so. I look forward to hearing from you and working toward continued success. Thanks again for partnering with ACH Seeds. ACH Seeds, good things come from common ground. Farm Service brought to you today by Quality Roasting of Reese, purchasing local soybeans, processing local beans, and marketing local Exceller Meal, which is a high bypass soybean meal for your dairy herd. They've been doing that since 1991. Quality Roasting of Reese. Along with me, Bill Webster with Nutrient Ag Solutions. Bill, good morning. How are you this morning? Very good, Terry. What's going on out in the fields these days? Everybody pretty well wrapped up? I hope so. <laughs> I see we've got a little bit of snow everywhere, and somebody's got a taste of it. But hopefully we've got it wrapped up um, this time of year um, to kind of evaluate how things did. And we had a really good year yield-wise in most cases. And uh, guys start planning for next season. Um yeah, I was going to say, let's talk a little bit about the bookkeeping aspect of things and uh, getting all the ducks in a row for next year. What should producers be doing right now before the end of the year, Bill? Well, they need to uh, look at numbers and the, and uh, with the commodity prices, they're probably going to have to prepay some stuff uh, to avoid the tax man. And uh, they need to look at uh, what crops are going to do, uh, even uh, with the high fertilizer prices they're looking at. I think uh, the commodity prices are high enough. They've kept up with it. And so stuff is still going to work on paper anyway. And uh, think about what kind of mess they might have left the field in with the wet weather and gouging up and whether we've got to do some tillage to try to straighten stuff back out. But a lot of stuff like that, um, end of year type paperwork. Yep. It sounds that way. And for more information, folks can get a hold of you for a little consultation here. How do they do that, Bill? Uh, just check in with their local nutrient office, uh, farm center, and get a crop consultant if they got questions. Um, this is the time of year you need to be talking and, and putting a crop plan together um, so you know what you got to do before the end of the month. Boy, you got that right. Bill Webster, you take care. Have a great day, okay? Yep, thanks. You, you bet. Care. Bill Webster over at Nutrient Ag. Experience the most reliable RTK signal from PC Ag Solutions, compatible with most GPS receivers. Trade in your old radio or modem and get an affordable subscription through us. We have over 25 base station locations across the Lower Peninsula, and we're always looking to add more to our network. Discover more power, more accuracy, and more coverage with our 450 megahertz signal. Call us to learn more today. PC Ag Solutions, 989-868-4444. Wow! Good looking beets as usual. How are you, Dave? Ah, Happy to put another harvest in the books. This is my last load. I am serious. Those look great. Got any trade secrets? Well, the weather held. And of course, I always plant beta seed. Seriously? That's it? Mm -hmm. That's it. We've always gotten vigorous plants and great results. My ISA says they breed the best traits right into the seed. Well, how exactly do they do that? Mm, No idea. I'm just glad they do. 
Beta Seed, breeding confidence. Farm Service brought to you right now from the folks at Foster Blue Water Oil. Let Foster take your diesel to another level. You do get more power, cleaner injectors, faster cold starts, maximum lubricity, year-round protection, and up to 8% improved fuel economy with Diesel Guard Supreme Plus from Valve Tech Petroleum. Available today at Foster Blue Water Oil. We'll talk to Joe Kramer here in just a second, but before we do that, I want to talk to Craig Voorhees with the Rummel Agency. Craig, what's going on these days? Well, morning, Terry. Like you've been talking, there's a lot of talk discussion about snow and snowfall amounts, and that always generates phone calls at our office. Folks are thinking about putting a plow on the truck or a salt box and throwing the snowblower in and going out and trying to turn some of that white stuff into green stuff. So if that's what you got in mind for this winter, uh, double check with your insurance policy. Even if you have a commercial policy, there's usually some adjustments that have to be made. And if you don't have a commercial policy and you only have a personal, then you're likely going to have to get a commercial policy. So we just don't want folks assuming that they're going to be covered uh, without checking with us first. Good, good suggestion. Real good suggestion. I tell you, a lot of folks just don't think about it, do they? Nope. They get the equipment and they head out. And then uh, when something unfortunate happens, uh, that's the wrong time to find out whether you're covered or not. There you go. Craig Voorhees, take care. Have a great day, okay? Thanks, Terry. You too. Will do. Along with me, Joe Kramer with the uh, Michigan Bean Commission. Joe, good morning. How are you? I'm doing well, Terry. Thank you. What's going on? I know uh, we got some meetings coming up next week. Yeah, we're... uh... Mr. Bales is working hard to put together a good program, and uh, we checked it over again this morning. But uh, we start on Monday over in uh, in Bay City at the Doubletree and try to make a spot for growers in the Saginaw Valley and further north to come together and just talk about the latest in research. I think the meeting's worth four credits, by the way. Oh, that's great. Now, after that, uh, you're going to be in a couple other locations a little bit further away, right? Yeah, Wednesday we're over in Lakeview, Michigan at McKenna's Village Restaurant. And uh, the agenda changes a little bit because of the bean types over there and irrigation. Um, But again, we're four credits and a a good program. We follow that up on Thursday up in Baddocks at the Franklin Inn. Um, Kind of focusing on navy beans, black beans, and small reds. Uh, Go through some research, take a look at what's coming down the road, and have some lunch. And we'll be joining you on Monday over I'll at see, the, the Double I'll see Tree. You in Bay City, right? Yep, we'll see you in Bay City. Right. You, you take care, Joe. Have a great day, okay? Thanks, Terry. You bet. Joe Kramer with the Michigan Bean Commission. Farm Service brought to you today by the folks at Tri-County Equipment. They've got the Western Plows available now for your gator. So check them out. Uh, they're ready for action. Are you? And remember, John Deere and Michigan Slum, as well as Saginaw Reese and Birch Run, Tri-County Equipment, working harder, doing more. We conclude our program with a playing of our national anthem. The Stone Specialist Studios. This is WSGW, Saginaw, Bay City, Midland, WSGW. This is CBS News on the Hour, sponsored by Rocket Mortgage. 
I'm Steve Kathan. The future of abortion rights in this country in the balance as the U.S. Supreme Court hears arguments about a strict law in Mississippi. CBS's Steve Dorsey is in Washington. Senator 